Welcome back to our channel. <coughs> so we were going through the protection.office.com. Let's see what's next. Security and compliance. We did the threat management now is back to mail flow we checked mail flow back in those videos let me see where they are all right so i found it it's mail flow rules <coughs> right there and then next is trace mail and i think we're gonna see that uh, as well about the quarantine and all that <coughs> we did not do quarantine somewhere here well anyway let's go I think that comes in uh, trace mail. So mail flow map, like what's the internet, what is Office 365, top domains, mail flow, like what domains are receiving email in your organization, like you could have multiple domains. In my case, it's uh, this one is given by Microsoft to test uh, Office 365 out, and this one is my own. So authenticate client clients, and that's the queues clients are like those uh, that you can the use uh, of uh, the clients uh, third-party clients what's the outbound and inbound mail flow like how much came how much was left so you see that 52 came were received so and Three messages were sent out so this is outbound so it's like uh, these tiles that give you a uh, general overview there are no alerts nothing in queue non delivery report there might be one so what's that about let's click here and go to the tile and see it's not giving us a report other than that on January 23rd there was one the IP address stays the same right 553190 yep so what's this machine's IP address let's find out it's this one right here let's close this and from the dashboard oh you cannot set a mail flow you have to go that in the exchange it's just uh, an overview i was thinking that maybe you can set up rules and trace the message trace and all that message trace is the that exciting stuff that we do when uh, i talked about our user says that somebody sent me a <clears throat> Um, an email I haven't received it and it was not bounced back to them so then you go and check if it's if they said that it was not bounced back it's probably somewhere stuck in your system but if you don't see it then you say hey okay go tell them to check if it was bounced back or it was stopped by their system and somewhere so, so message sent from my primary domain who sent it in the primary domain this is the one so you can run the search and it will show you uh, from the domain how many people did that let's run it no data available nobody sent an email the next one should put some uh, like uh, show someone message received definitely something might have came to anybody I'll be surprised if you say no. Okay, you see, Ali received emails from Twitter and from Walmart. So, this is how you run the <laughs> reports. All right. <clears throat> and message pending delivery. There is none. It says zero. We can run it if you want. Let's yeah, let's run it. Pending delivery to users in my organization like the message that we have uh, that are stopped 
so you can check it and then you have to go and release them if you remember it's they are being quarantined or they are uh, uh, like any policy is being applied to them that they are not being delivered That's not all quarantine messages for the last seven days like whatever was quarantine let's run this one <clears throat> there are actually more options here delivery status deliver pending expanded failed filter as spam let's go with spam as well search nope no data cuts that those emails they are not being used after a year maybe more when you're heavily used them use them to sign up everywhere then you can see a lot of things happening here all right so <clears throat> custom cur queries that you can create auto saved queries that you ran these are the queries if you see i ran these four, four queries they are here then i ran some back in 30 on december 31st they are here so these are just like whatever you run it be, it's like a history and all failed messages for the last seven days we can make it more we can put it 90 days and then run our oh, client error okay more than 10 days then you have to download it microsoft don't want to show you here trace research result public folder mailbox what all failed messages so these messages according to status they are failed so they were un they were not delivered find your people a company has sent me an email thanks for subscribing exchange what's that one message my so these are from the Microsoft Exchange. Let's see what it is about. Oh, journal. They were. So it's misconfigured. So basically it well, i think it's the journal rule if you remember the general mailbox we created for a compliance uh, thing so <clears throat> you have to go and fix that you read that ndr and non deliverable report something like that that you had to fix and if we, that video should be <clears throat> it was general rules <clears throat> so it's this one journal mailbox rules so this is the video that you can watch for uh for what we did and how to create it the why we created it and and i remembered uh seeing ndr there and what it wanted it was to be because we were just testing so we didn't bother our journal has to have a backup so if it's undelivered to one it can be delivered on the other one and then there was like microsoft will hold it for two days or something and then delete or do whatever so this is it but this is like message trace searches and you when you see fail you want to go and fix it and it seems to be everything is sender is the exchange or oh, this one is from the this one is the public folder mailbox and recipient was public folder mailbox again it is something related to the journal I believe like uh, for the duplication and copy like having a backup that but not a backup for you for compliance all right so let's exit out of here and download rep downloadable report these reports these are not the one that uh, these are the one like when you um, run a report for lo longer than uh, higher than 90 days then it has to be it will be downloaded there uh, why 
not all senders. All senders. Nope. Do these people custom slider custom? You can go way back more than that, and you can choose the time as well and report type. So basic. Uh, I don't want to go through with like putting in. I can actually. Let's go, Ali. Ali. Okay, next. Prepare report. So when we click on prepare, uh, did I select for 90 days or no? <clears throat> it will appear here. So it will be prepared and when you come here it should show up here. So let's go and see uh, 90 days and buy these people to Ali. Create another one, right? Next prepare report. Yep. Last 90 days right there. So it will be some um, notification will be appear come but I believe that report will appear here so let's refresh it see if we get anything and you see we have two reports here and if you see that it is says uh, you send uh, senders and receipt recipient is the this this is the second report that we just created in over here sender and recipient the both are early so this is how you do it this is uh, uh, you download the reports from here this is it about the mail flow in uh, data um, security and compliance i'm gonna wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and see you in the next one